Milan, it's known as the Derby della Madonnina, in honour of the famous statue on top of the cathedral. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by Stuart Robson. It's Inter against Milan, and Stuart, this is always very special. You're absolutely right, Derek. This has the makings of an absolute classic. Great stadium, bitter rivalry, and two very good teams. This should be entertaining. the Milan team Mike Mignon begins in goal Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions and getting the vote of confidence in attack today Olivier Giroud team, Samir Handanovic begins between the posts Stefan de Frey plays with Milan Striniar in central defence and Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez an attractive match in store and it's Inter who get the game underway. Chalanolu. Barella has it. Inter in a position of menace. Physically strong and secure on the ball. And they could face difficulties here. And teammates to play it to. Brahim. Benassa. Giroud. Now with Mkhitaryan. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Diaz. Decent position. Well, into have it back now. Mkhitaryan. Barella has it. Chalanolu. Brozovic. It's with Chalanolu. Now with Mikitarian. Precise ball movement. Jekko. Can they nudge in front? And he thought of the attack with a masterful tackle. Well read to win possession back. Barella has it well they're eyeing that final pass you just feel Jihou running with the ball confidently space and time for the cross 
taken care of business defensively here. He's got to score! That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Mkhitaryan. Barella has it. Martinez. And Inter might be able to cash in here. The ball with Martinez. Martinez. And he could be in proper trouble here. Olivier Giroud. Benassa. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And a chance for them to notch in front. Giroud. And able to get a body in the way. Mkhitaryan quick thinking to dispossess his opponent Martinez well he's lost it Brahim Tonali with it. Diaz. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. Henrik Mkhitaryan Dzeko Well possibilities in the centre An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation And over it comes. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. He cuts it back. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Rafael Leao. Brahim. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. So the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Davide Calabria. Brahim. It's with Chalanolu. Brozovic in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here Martinez Mkhitaryan well not quite what he wanted to do with the pass this might be ideal for the counter oh stylish ball what can they do now Giroud Giroud well the pass not finding its target will he finish and there it is 1-0 the efforts have been rewarded and look at the celebrations well let's 
take another look and wow how cleanly does he hit that the keeper was never going to save it what a good goal that is Well, back underway here, and that really should shake up into a bit, you would think. Brozovic. Barella has it. Well, Inter has certainly controlled the flow of the game, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. He continues his run, and the challenge halts them in their tracks. Martinez. Brahim. Benassa. Tonali with it. Brahim Benassa Sandro Tonali Brahim and Milan moving the ball with purpose crossing possibilities a poor cross all things considered Dzeko Dumfries just 20 minutes remaining now. Possession and patience, the watchwords. And it's with Dumfries. Well, strong play here. Rafael Leao. Benassa. Read it well. Well, not quite there, but almost Milan. They want to make this a win, Stuart. Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Brozovic. Dzeko. And it's with Dumfries. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. But nothing comes of it. Ten minutes to go. Sandro Tonali. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These fans are doing everything to get their team over the finish line. And there's not long left now. And given away by Milan. Chalanolu. Martinez. Henrik Mkhitaryan. How oh, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Rafael Leao. It's with Giroud. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Chalanolu. How can they find a late leveller? So after that, a goal kick it'll be. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Brahim. 
Well timed tackle. So there it is, the final whistle, and it's going to be recorded as a win for the Rossoneri. What did you think of their performance of this game? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.